Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 6. When we last left off, we were somewhere farther up north, I think. Uh, maybe not, <laughs> but uh, we uh, are actually over at Mylai right now because I decided to uh, just go ahead and get a shield for Gertrude. Just, I mean, the, uh, the Skull Dagger was fine and we can always buy another one from her, but uh, the, uh, the Dragon Kite gives her... Uh, a nice AC boost, and so we'll roll with it for a while. Um, in addition to that, uh, somebody got a level, I think it was... I think it might have been Fempo, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what he got. I don't, don't quite recall. But uh, yeah, somebody, somebody got something. Um, but I don't think it was anything too terribly spectacular, so I wouldn't worry about it too, too much. Um, that said, I think it's time for us probably to go, well, meet my lie again. And, uh, leave. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and use our water wings so we can get on the water, and I think we're probably wanna, gonna want to go back up and buff real quick. Uh, and all that stuff, and then we need to find the red X, uh, which I assume is uh, actually to the south. Or I mean, I guess we could have gone to the north. Either either way, I don't know what to expect when we find it. Um, but uh, yeah, we need to go ahead and just have a little drinky drink of whatever this magic uh, refreshing uh, fountain is given us, and I should probably want to go ahead and actually do our buffs now. So much MP on her, I love it. Okay, so there's that. Uh, Fenpo has that. This may not even end up being useful, <laughs> depending on, uh, depending on how quickly we get down there. Levitate, oh, he's one MP shy <laughs> from being able to do a, uh, a big, big levitate. Uh, and just for fun, I guess we do, uh, can do direction. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's get everybody sorted out here real quick. And, uh, then we'll be on our way. Alright. We also need to try and, and, uh, take another look at that door. Um, up by, uh... The uh, thingy of the lost, or, or whatever it is, I think. Um, we've got, a, got the key of the lost. Uh, but it didn't seem to work on that door. But it didn't try to just, like, pick the lock either, so... Uh, it's entirely possible we may be able to do that. Now, I think the red X was down here somewhere, but I'm not... Totally confident about that. Uh, we shall see shortly. Just uh, checking around. We've got stairs up there, right? Um, but that is not what I'm looking for right now. Thought the red X was. Yeah, here we go. Now, if I recall, the directions were to go one north and two, th three east. Let's try using our, our fish hook here. Snagged on. Oh, all right, good. It feels heavy. You manage to pull up a heavy locker which crumbles into shards of rust as you haul it up out of the water. Found a lynx ring, a wand of ghosts, and an east exit key. Hmm, okay. So, I don't know what this key goes to, but we have a couple doors that we can try. So we'll give that to her, a wand of ghosts, I don't know what that does. So we'll give that to him and we'll give the lynx ring to him. Uh, so we can go ahead and try to ID these real quick. What do these items do, pray tell? We still have our fish line with hook. I don't know if we still need it or not. If we're going to be doing some more fishing, it's got dispel undead and uh, does some damage. I guess if we were to give it to a caster. Uh, and what about what about your ring? It's got some kind of special power, um, but we don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to do anything else. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to swag this stuff for the moment. Uh, we can actually probably just swag these two, now that I think about it. Alright, so, that's one mystery solved. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go up north here. Is it faster? It's probably faster to... I don't think it, I don't think it matters. Let's just go. Ow, ow, ow. 
and uh, just explore a little bit of unexplored terrain as we go. Maybe get attacked by some sea serpents and dragonflies. You never know. It's just a just a normal day on River Styx here. Um, we do have a ton of MP <laughs> available. Have we tried Death Wish yet? We could try some Death Wish. Uh, that seems to target everybody too, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, and then, I don't know, just give me like a fireball and you can just fight. You can give me a do 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 mind flay and give me a firestorm. Uh, I think this actually uh, hits uh, that group, the group of enemies multiple turns. So it's a little bit different than other spells. Um, so it wasn't quite as good as I thought it would be uh, when I first better than I thought it was uh, it was going to be uh, the first time I saw it so oh yeah big damage good stuff and everything just fucking died <laughs> from death wish that's incredible <laughs> good times this high level magic is doing some work so let's go ahead and uh, get that MP back, shall we? I'm not going to rebuff real or anything, uh, but I uh, feel like we may as well while we're here. Let's do like one of these for everybody. That's good enough. Okay. So we are looking for um, the Isle of the Shenanigans here. Uh, there it is. Okay. So it would have been probably faster to go south, but uh, that's okay. It's not too bad. We got this place pretty well explored uh, at this point, so... Um, uh, right, we read that. What we haven't done is just tried to open this by picking it, which it seems like is possible, in theory. May take a few attempts here, you never know, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, it's stuck now. I wonder if we can uh, force it with uh, Fenpo. Does not seem likely. <laughs> wonder if we try I'm just curious I don't think we've ever really tried to force a door straining Ooh, failed try again oh well that's not what I wanted <laughs> oh well okay let's uh yeah let's try to pick it I think that'll be our best option here I don't think there was like an open spell or anything in this game oh it's jammed again all right do 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 all right Yes! Oh, it was looking so good, too. There we go. That's the good stuff. Well done. Um, I guess we don't need to try to open it again. And here we have an encounter! Three Island Giants. I think we can probably handle Three Island Giants in glorious melee. Um, uh, let's fight. Actually, no. Let's have you, let's have you use the, uh, the Angel's Tongue, because these things probably do hit pretty hard. And it's gonna be like a little blinding flash. There we go. We should have this fight in the bag now that they're blinded. I don't think there's any coming back from that from uh, for these guys unless they get extremely lucky, especially with these crits coming. And I think we can just fight now. Good stuff. You can see there's a gate to our left. I'm wondering if this is where we use the key that we got. Which would be kind of <laughs> a little bit of a strange situation. You gotta get the key, but then you gotta pick a lock to use said key. <laughs> so, uh, you know, whatever, that's fine. Fur leggings, I'm not worried about fur leggings at this point. Alright, let's use this, uh, this key of Elise's here. Where are you? Key of the Lost. Aha! Good stuff. All right, in we go. Uh, let us inspect with everybody. Got some double O's. Now, there is a spell that we could cast that I don't think we've ever cast yet, but Divine Trap. Uh, I don't know if that, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. There we go. So now we got some extra letters. <laughs> no, I can't remember all those letters, but um, it's got two spaces in it and a DFCFU. So let's try to disarm it. DFCFU, probably Cloud of Fear. 
I didn't even have to look at the rest of them. But yeah, that's what Divine Trap does. A little more fun to try to guess <laughs> sometimes, but uh, there we go. Good stuff. We got another Hayabo. And some res scrolls. I mean, I guess we'll take them. Bronze Curious is not going to do us much good, really. Um, but I guess we can go down to... I uh, uh, should not have given it to him, but that's okay. We've got another Cylinder of Ash, which is actually good. Um, oh, okay. Giant Crabs it is. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the reason Lightning doesn't... It kind of seems to be underwhelming is because I think Lightning is also a Priest spell. And I think it's like the only one they get that actually does damage from the Fire School, so that might be why... It's, uh, it's not looking so hot right now. But, uh, these crabs are all going to die. I promise you this. Oh, yes. She doesn't have AO any AoE. I don't think I wish she did. Maybe eventually she'll get firebomb. That would solve a lot of my problems. But, um, for now, I think we'll just, uh, you know, I don't think we've ever cast Make Wounds. I don't even know if it affects multiple targets. I hope so. <laughs> But, uh, go ahead and fireball these guys, and we'll firebomb these guys. Okay. It's nice having that fountain that we can go to to just get all of our MP back for free. Because <laughs> now we can just make these fights go so much faster right now. There we go. Good stuff. Not a very impressive firebomb, but, you know, it was only a two-power dealie. Oh, and there's the make wounds. All right, let's just fight. Ow. It does seem like Make Wounds only hits one uh, target, which makes it pretty much uh, awful, especially considering he uses light magic. <laughs> Getting good XP out here still, though, which is nice. Although we need hundreds of thousands of XP to level up now. I think Ow. at least a couple hundred K, so... <laughs> Uh, it still takes a while. So, water wings. Ow, ow, ow. And we run into the wall a few times. All going as planned. Oh, my God. All right. I wonder if she can uh, fuck up this Death Wish spell and then cast it on us. <laughs> and then we all just die, because that would be funny to me. <sighs> uh, I'm just going to have... I'm just going to have him fight. Actually, you know what? Here, everybody hide. I want to see if she can do this by herself. This could take a moment. Ow. Not sure what to expect here exactly. Ow. Ow. Other than getting hit a lot. There we go. Everybody dies. <laughs> I love that spell. That is incredible. <laughs> oh, why not always have that spell? I'm guessing we're not going to be able to rely on that uh, forever, but it is nice to have. Now, uh, I'm not going to bother buffing right this second, um, but I do know where I want to try to go. Uh, we want to go talk to Mylai just real quick to drop off some stuff, and uh, then I think we want to go and check out that staircase that had the gate, because we have a new key, the east exit key. Um, that may be able to lead us to a new area. So, that's my guess anyway. All right. And we have, uh, yeah, these Cylinders of Ash that we can give back to Charon at some point, too. Uh, so I guess we will want to think about that at some point. I think we have two, maybe three. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'll have to look again. Vempo definitely has two, so uh, that is good. Um, I guess, yeah, we just go down this way. Ow, ow. Probably would have been faster to, to go the other way, but uh, that's okay. All right. There's my lie again. Oh, boy. All right, trade. Do you have anything that you need to sell? You have the Skull Dagger. I'm going to let her keep the Skull Dagger just in case we want to go back to dual wielding for some reason uh, in the near future here. Um rather than having to come back and like, try to buy something. Uh, we do have three cylinders of ash, it looks like, so that's good. Um, nothing there, really, to sell. Uh, Elise. Uh, I don't. I didn't catch what that said. Not with you. She won't trade with Elise. <laughs> okay. 
that's the first time we've seen that. Maybe she got caught stealing or something and I accidentally saved over it. <laughs> it, it is possible. Uh, let's get rid of... I thought there was a... Didn't I give him some stuff to, to get rid of here? Um, yes, his bronze cuirass can go. And then, uh... Nerve? It could also be because of Elise's karma. Um, if it's super high or super low, that would also create an issue, potentially. Uh, it's like one of the only times the sad has been relevant. There you go, there's the bow. And finally, Alima, do you have anything? Not really. I may decide to go back and uh, fight the uh, Amazuli Queen uh, at some point for uh, her weapon. But not just yet. I guess that's everything. Um. No, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. She has two karma, so maybe that's maybe that's the problem. I can't remember if I traded with her before or not. Probably not. Um, except for maybe the Bushido blade, but I might have just bought it on somebody else and not uh, not thought about it. Okay, so. I think we want to go up here now and uh, pursue whatever's up these stairs. Ow. Yeah, we have another key here that we could probably use, or another gate here that we could probably use a key on. And indeed, it does work. This is good. New area of some kind, perhaps? You emerge into the castle swamplands, the spooky marshes east of the castle. A path skirts in and out of its Rudy trees enabling you to cautiously walk through the watery moor. Fuck that, man. We can fly. But, uh, maybe we'll stick to the path for now. But, uh, yeah, I think we saw the swamps from the towers way back in, uh, like the first area of the game. So, uh, that's kind of interesting. I'm a little bit nervous here, so I guess we probably better just throw on some buffs. It's not a bad idea. Particularly the Holy Trinity of uh, magic screen and armor plate and, of course, uh, <laughs> um, enchanted blade. But uh, also may as well do detect secret, like so. All right, here we go. And I was right. Yon T, isn't that like... TSR era Dungeons and Dragons property, or is it where or the Yon T in the, in Dungeons and Dragons based on something else? I don't know. It's interesting. I'm a little surprised to find them here, but uh, nonetheless, I will destroy them with uh, the greatest of ease. I expect he said somewhat sarcastically and self-aware. <laughs> uh, let's try a little blinding flash. I'm not sure what to expect from these guys exactly. Probably poison of some kind. Uh, they can be slept and they can be blinded. I don't know how you blind somebody who's got their eyes closed, but you know, it's fine. I guess maybe they can't close their eyes all the way. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, now we destroy them, I think. This should be much easier now that they are blinded because there's a chance that we do double damage on our attacks and uh, there's a chance that they don't get to go, so. <laughs> Just waiting for Alima to finish using her crappy arrows, and then we'll switch over to the other ones. I don't know how much exactly how much game is left here, so we may have to go buy some at some point, which, you know, I guess is fine. Uh, but uh, it seems like, you know, we don't really need her to have the good stuff just yet. We don't need those items. Those items are not worth enough gold for us to want to pick them up. Now, I am wondering if I'm going to have to use the boots at some point here to uh, do a little flying, but uh, for now, I do want to try to stay on the path. I wonder if we could actually just walk off the edge. No, okay. So it won't let us kill ourselves. <laughs> for now, oh good lord, drow elves! Now come on, this is just ridiculous and snake men. Tisk. Uh, Alright, well, if these are like D&D &D drow, they're going to have huge magic resist, we'll see. Uh, for now, and probably be resistant to sleep as well. But we'll, uh, let's see what we can do here. We can maybe 
look like they're archers, not casters. So I'm not sweating the spells too much. Um, maybe just get ourselves like a little illusion. Eh, we don't need an illusion. Let's just do like a psionic blast on uh, the drow to see if that works. And we'll try to use the loot on them. And we'll try to blinding flash them as well. Just to see what happens here. Don't know what to expect. Armor piercing arrows, huh? Oh, and somebody just slang some poison at us. Yeah, it seems like they do have a resistance to metal magic, although metal magic is apparently the most easy to resist in this game, so... Uh, I shouldn't be too surprised. Okay. So the can cast some spells, or was that the snake that was casting a spell? I'm not sure. But these particular elves don't seem too bad. They are hitting us quite frequently. Uh, and they all these enemies can hit our back row, which is a bit of a problem right now. Um, hmm. I think we continue to fight these guys. Um. Wish you had Blinding Flash, but you do not. Do you have Blinding Flash? Did you ever get it? No, you did not. Alrighty. Well, I guess it's up to you again, and you shall do it on those guys. Ow. I'm hoping that we have enough HP to hold out and just melee these guys down a little bit further for one more turn without dying. Ow. Oh, jeez, poison Ow. gas. Ow. Ow. I was not expecting Ow. that. Is that from a snake or from a <laughs> from a drow? We're killing the drow, so that's good. Ow. Yeah, they're really going after Nurb here, which is a cause for concern. Ow. I don't know why they're targeting him specifically, but. It's not good. So now we actually have to try to heal Nerd before he eats shit and dies here. There's still three Drow Elves left, too. Um, you should probably just fight. And then you can heal. You can try to heal yourself. I could have him try to hide, but I don't think it's going to do much. Uh, and you also can try to heal him. Ow, ow, I think he's going to die. Ow. He has died. <laughs> That's okay. We'll try to bring him back here if we get the chance here. It is cast create life. Huh. Full of surprises. There we go. The drow are slowly dying here. Oh, and then do we just get crit? <laughs> okay. All right. I'll play your game. Uh, I think we'd probably kill that, and then we got... Some yawn tea to deal with. <laughs> uh, somebody get paralyzed as well? Is that what's going on? It's hard to see. Ow. Ow. So yeah, the the, the uh, I gotta go back and look at the combat log. It's going too fast for me to really pay attention to it with all the bullshit on the screen. But uh, it does seem like the um. Does seem like these enemies uh, can cast a lot of dangerous spells, so we probably want to take them a little bit more seriously in the future. All right. And you, I think we can do this. I'm not sure. Ow, 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 ow. I'm having a really difficult time with these guys. And uh, yeah, that Cure Lesser Condition did not do anything to alleviate the charm effect. So I'm not sure what, uh, what would, exactly. Um, Sane Mind, maybe? I'm deliberately Ow. not healing anybody, Ow. I just want to see Ow. where this is going Ow. here. <laughs> Ow. Um... Oh yeah, we knocked someone out, well, that's good. <laughs> Whatever that's worth. But, okay, I guess, uh... Probably seen enough. I just was kind of curious about uh, just what other magic they might have and that kind of thing. But uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> we'll reload this because we're probably going to die at this point. Okay, we are indeed back. Uh, now, if it would have just been like one or two people, I would have resed them. We have a ton of res um, capability right now. But um, it that was looking like a, a total party white there. So, um, what in the fuck is this? Goblins, huh? Well, at least we're seeing some new enemies, I guess. That's always interesting. I guess we should take these guys uh, somewhat more seriously. 
wonder if we can get away with just like a level one death wish on these guys and, and everybody will just die and fall over because that would make our life uh, extremely easy right now. Um, do just like soften them up maybe with like a little bit of mind play, I guess. And then let's see if they can indeed be slept uh, and or blinded. Mind play seems to be effective here. Not sure how many HP to uh, expect from these particular enemies. You would think not many, but you never know. Unaffected. So that death wish not good enough. Really needs to be needs to be higher level. Certainly they can be slept though. So that is uh, that is good to know. <laughs> okay, but seriously though, we're gonna kill all of these guys now. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Nah, you just fight. You've got so much crit. And then you can just use the loot on uh, these guys. And then you can actually just straight up put these guys to sleep, probably. And then we'll be good, I think. Got them softened up a little bit, so... Between that and the crits, of course. We should be... Uh, we should be fine here. Doesn't seem like these guys have anything particularly nasty about them, at least not this version of this enemy. There may be like a, an advanced version that we run into at some point here, you never know. Okay. Guess we should attack the group that is currently awake, and actually you should probably, since you've got a moment now, go ahead and use the Angel's Tongue. Just make her life a little bit easier here. Just a little bit easier. Nice crit. <laughs> one damage, but that one damage was right in the eyeball, and he is now deceased. <laughs> Not expecting to get a uh, bowload of XP from these guys. And those guys are all still asleep, so I guess we'll just do this like so. It's good to let Nerb get some attacks in, because that uh, cat of nine tails he has is actually extremely, extremely good. <laughs> Um, and his, uh, his skill at using it is extremely, extremely bad still, I think, uh, for this point in the game. Yeah, we're knocking people out. I can't remember what item's doing that. It might be the Haya bow. Uh, could be the Cat of Nine Tails. I think it's the bow, though. Good stuff. And that should be the end of this guy, I think. Not quite. He is, he is still, still alive. There we go. That's more XP than I thought, and we got a monk level. Well, that's exciting. Uh, so I had talked about the possibility of raising up some other uh, skills for, you know, the possibility of import into Wizardry 7, and I may do that, because he's maxed out here. Um, wondering if maybe, like, a little bit of artifacts might uh, be something we're interested in, because he's got, he's got so much crit now that it, it's probably good enough for the rest of the game. Uh... So I'm, I know like artifacts isn't going to do much for us right now, and there's other ways we could raise it, but it might be good to have somebody with some skill in it for uh, for next time. Um, so maybe what we'll do, let's get him up to 60, and then we'll, we'll put a few points in. Maybe we'll, we'll work on raising it, uh, I'll grind out raising it uh, a bit higher as well at some point. Um... But, you know, it'll be a little while before we have to worry about that too much. And we get a new spell, of course. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. Armor Melt could be good. I don't know if we have anybody with Paralyze yet, so I guess I'll give him Paralyze. I think we probably do, but... Anyway, so I guess that'll do it for this episode. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue exploring the swamps here and uh, see what we can find. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here, <laughs> but I'm... I'm sure the game will make it apparent to us uh, in good time. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.